Ojmo, doesn't like that, it's OJMO. You learned that the hard way, didn't oh, you, Matthew? <laughs> here's, a, here's, my, here's a little factoid about the OJMO, right, okay? He only started training, as you said, just two years ago. Mm -hmm. He was watching the WWE UK Championship Tournament, and he saw the yeah. UK Championship belt. And as an avid belt collector and a merch fan, as he is, he's a full-on wrestling fan, that night the OJMO said, I'm not going to buy another replica belt, I'm going to go out there and win the things. That's what right. a story. And I'm sure he's very happy to have me commentating his match here at NCL. I met him down in London one time, and he went, oh, hey, how you doing, big fan? I went, oh, thank you. And I just thought he just wanted a selfie, and he went, no, no, I'm, I'm the OJMO. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Well, all is forgiven now. I'm sure you can have a drink with him in the bar afterwards. Mate, if he is able to look impressive against Lucky Kid, I will buy him all the red stripe he can carry back oh, to London. Look at this. What an absolute treat. We are so honoured to be a part of this. I am so happy to be sat next to one of my great friends, Matthew Gregg, oh. calling what is bound to be a match of the year candidate between the OJMO and Lucky Kid. Yeah, no pressure, lads. What a time to be a fan of North Wrestling. I mean, absolutely. We had to, we used to have to beg wrestlers of this calibre to come to this area of the world to wrestle. And now they're coming here voluntarily. The Lucky art. Kid versus the OJMO here at the Riverside. Oversubscribed so on the tyne is what we certainly are. And <laughs> Lucky Kid and OJMO size each other up to begin with. Lucky Kid has really been a, a fly in the ointment to so many incredible wrestlers up and down the country, uh, which I know we've talked about before. Mm -hmm. uh, Jody Fleisch, David Starr recently have fallen to, uh, to, to Lucky Kid. And as you said, Volta versus Lucky Kid in the finals of the 16 karat gold tournament. The good money was on Volta, but Lucky Kid pinned the UK champion. There is a tiny, tiny number of people that can say they have defeated Volta. And you know what? That's not even the most impressive bit. He beat all the members of Ring Camp. Every weekend. single one that he beat, weekend. Oh, he beat, um, the ones that matter. Um, he beat them so badly, they had to rename themselves as Imperium, I believe. <laughs> They've beaten so badly, they ran to Stamford. Which technically means that Imperium is part of the NCL continuity if Eligero and... Pro you know, it's getting too complicated. It's Look at this very uh, cannon. wrist lock here we have. Wrist lock by the OJMO, who is looking to get a big win over a, a big calibre performance like Lucky Kid. And I could tell, Tom, to stop you, because you're obviously beautiful commentating, but these are the bits I really enjoy watching as a commentator, as a fan of wrestling. These two men who don't know each other that well, but Lucky Kid has been around for around 11 years now. So right now, this is the feeling out process. And it's always interesting to see because Lucky Kid right now wants to see what level of Lucky Kid he needs to bring to take on the Ojmo. There we go. Get these basic counters back and forth to see what does he know? What, what week is he at with wrestling training? This is Lucky Kid saying, what can you do? And it's the OJMO saying, what can't you do? That's right, because Lucky Kid doesn't want to underestimate his opponent by any means. I mean, got a Lucky Kid left here for a loss to a guy who's just been two years. You never go back to Deutschland. But odd, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that Lucky Kid doesn't, isn't going to, you know, completely annihilate the guy either. Well, so far, so good. The o OJMO arrived here with one MO, one modus operandi. That is to make oh, a nice. big upset over a guy like Lucky Kid, it would put him on the map here, not just in the northeast of England, but in the UK. Snapmare by Lucky Kid. And these two have wrestled a clinic in the opening moments of this match. I do like this, the, the human game of chess. I know we say that, but I mean, who's playing chess nowadays? The human game of Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. And as far as OJMO's chewing gum. Well, I mean, he's wasting no expense on uh, self-confidence there. And the hamlock take it down while he's on the mat. Give her a prize there, and the crowd politing, plight, plighting, politely applauding, like it's Crofts. Very respective to the work we're seeing between these two competitors. And now, oh, referee trying to break it up. Yeah, very smart strategy by Lucky Kid to get there to the ring rope, so the referee has to release it. However, taking advantage of the referee having to step in the middle and getting a cheeky forearm to the Ojmo. 
I call him Ojmo again. I like how you keep OJ calling him Ojmo. It, it looks like it's supposed to be pronounced that. Oh, look so. at this. Back and forth they go. Oh. Horikon Rana by the OJMO and a drop kick as well. Picture perfect. Another kid the outside. Look, a guy like a kid with a busy schedule as his. Like you said, he doesn't want to use all his energy on a guy like the OJMO when he's got the likes of Star, Dragonoff and everyone else to, to be dealing with. But he doesn't want to go back to Chris Brooks. Talk about all the ruckus in NCL again. Packed up that relationship. It's yeah, all right that's now. all fine. We're good with Chris Brooks now. Chris Brooks. Oh, so that drop kick there, the head of Ojmo. Schadenfreude, which obviously is German. <laughs> Don't get frustrated about it. You're all fine. Look, whatever you want. Oh, there we go. As long as you're not insulting him. And spring elbow knocks him off the apron. And a nice dive over the top ropes. Landing on his feet. Getting a pose. Schadenfreude is a German expression for getting pleasure from someone else's misery. And no doubt Lucky right. Kid is reveling in embarrassing this youngster here at North Wrestling. Yeah. So wrestling then, basically. <laughs> basically, yeah. Well, I'm sure have a lot of pleasure tonight watching this match. Does that make me a weird person? Possibly, but when those wrestlers are Lucky Kid and OJMO, I'm not going to apologise. And so what is your experience with Lucky Kid or OJMO? My, really into my experience with Lucky Kid is, is watching, as we've talked about, that that unbelievable performance he put on at 16 Karat Gold this year. And, and for, for wrestling fans around the world who aren't familiar with the significance of 16 Karat Gold tournament, this is WXW's big European, almost like if, if, the, if Europe had a G1, it would yeah. be the 16 Karat Gold tournament. It'd be called G1. It would gear <laughs> eins. Oh right, yeah, gear eins. <laughs> yeah, Jim. But it, and so that gives you an idea of the significance, not just in Germany, oh, but nice across the continent. And there are performers from up and down. They, we had performances at the last 16 carat from WWE superstars. Yep. That's the significance of the 16 carat. And I'm not one to blow no. smoke up the arse of another company, but I think it's worth noting that Lucky Kid, one of the true standouts of that tournament mm. from this year, he won the damn thing yeah. and he beat Volta. And now he's trying to... And imagine tonight if the OJMO can walk away from this OJMO in the best position to be in. He's got nothing to lose tonight. He can walk yep. away from North Wrestling either with a loss to a great competitor or a win over the winner of the 16 Karat Gold Tournament. Exactly. Oh, my days. And OJMO managed to recover from that uh, neck crank there, trying to pop his head like it was a bottle cap. So on top rope now. Oh. And rope assisted kick oh. to the heat, and Ojmo is out. They heard that all the way to the merch table where Wrestle Crate are cringing. Nice plug there. Also, gravel clothing. And and Calling Spots magazine. Who else pays us? And um. Red Stripe. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky kid now. Oh, it looks like we're getting checked. OJMO getting checked over. That was a horrible landing for the lad. Nine. Hello, ref. Big Germany here in Newcastle. Come on. Oh, lucky kid. I'm a little bit of a nap there. I think the lucky kid is very can be very respectful, but I think because he's in the UK, the crowd seem to know him from Schadenfreude, who do what they like, and when there's about 20 of them, they can get away with it. So I think he's performing to their standards. Oh, and there we go. And he's been very playful. Oh, that's adorable. What you doing? Oh, no, it's wrestling and a, stuff. He's been a sexy lucky kid. That doesn't sound right at all, does it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> OJMO able to roll in before the countdown. Fall out. I think he's still chewing gum though, so that might be his trump card. Oh. And now the referee checking up on him. He's not sure that OJMO can continue. He might have to get the magic sponge out. Not like a kid. Very eager to continue this match. He knows how far he can push the ref. Been doing it for 11 years. Oh. See, lucky kid here. Just telling the OJMO to take a... Bro! Oh. No chance, Sundance! Oh, oh the answer. intestinal fortitude of the OJMO, who's like, no, I ain't stopping. Oh, God. That might be a mistake. Oh, no, yeah. Must be regretting that. You've just clicked oh. God mode onto lucky kid. You know, the guy that beat Volta. I don't want to keep banging Ooh, on about that. Very but... near fall there. These hard shots to the kidneys. It's enough to take down many a boxer. But the OJMO did not spend 10 hours on a megabus 
coming up the A1 just to go home but back to, to all those the mega bus with a loss you want to be back on that mega bus with a big old win in your back pocket exactly. the winner's share of the purse money you can buy yourself a, a nice pasty at the service yeah. station make the, those 10 hours feel like 8 anyway push the OGMO look at kid clearly thinking it's beneath him now he's got the match going at his pace those devastating knees driving into the into the oh. guts of OJMO and there are plenty of them Oh, wanted to the just up oh, that. Oh, God! And a hard, hard clothesline there, taking both men down. I think Lucky Kid was setting, like, he was going to perhaps do the high kick and the low kick. So he's already <laughs> start ducking, and then, hey, clothesline comes out of nowhere. I can't get over the fight that OJMO has taken to Lucky Kid. A gutsy, gutsy performance from a guy who has barely been a part of this industry for two years. Barely. That's right, the man who said from the grapple locks, I believe the progress dojo. If you're going to learn anywhere, you know, it's one of the finer places to learn. Head yourself there. Like to Daryl Allen. No. Oh, swing and a miss oh. and an elbow. Don't think it was as smooth as Lucky Kid wanted, but he was able to get it. Do you know what? what the inexperience of OGMO in effect there. What it lost in smoothness, it gained in strength. And talking of strength, look at this. Cross face oh. by Lucky Kid. Well, Perfectly executed move there. Oh, I thought it was tapping there. I think he's just reaching for the ropes. Cross face wrenching at the wrenching oh, at the back of the neck of OJMO. Oh, the whole for North Wrestling, just the company in general. Absolutely, we are so proud to be ringside, bringing you Lucky Kid versus the OJMO, one who has made a career out of beating bigger guys and then we've got the OJMO who is just starting out his journey one of these matches that will be used in oh, in recaps of careers for oh, either sorry. guy now Nojimo may not leave with a win but he will leave with a new tattoo in the shape of Lucky Kid's hand Good job it shows it in 3D, yeah. Jeez. Oh, son up for. Oh, that's what he's going for there. And the kid does favor the Tiger Suplex. AKA the Dragon Suplex. It's a, it's a long story about that name, but trust me on that. Kick. Making oh, another. God. Ojmo full of piss and vinegar now. We need both of them to overcome Lucky Kid. And he's going for. Fuzzbury flop to the outside. Fosbury flopped! Right amongst the North Faithful! I'm happy that Olympic manoeuvre is now wrestling offence. An effective offence at that. The OJMO now going up. Can we go up to the top rope? Oh my god, OJMO! Maybe oh. about to beat Lucky Kid! Come on, what, what if? If he can nail this frog splash! Nail! Oh. No! No! Nailed nothing but knees. Oh god! Lucky Kid and uh, sit out power bomb. Oh, what? That's a surprise, even with all the body weight. Oh, look at Lucky Kid, the way he backed away there. He looks like he's seen a ghost. The move that gave him big oh. victories. Rolling into the oh, cross face. Bigger guys. But OJMO knows it's coming now. It's already been locked in once. That's the danger of going to the well too often. Oh, wearing him down, trying to oh, block it as much as he can, but he is by the ropes. Oh, Lucky Kid holding the. Oh. oh God! Or Mike choking him out with his own arm and pulling his eyes. God, tying up the OJMO. Is it yelling him in Anna Deutsch? Why are you Why are you choking yourself? Why are you choking yourself? Oh, somehow the OJMO manages to get out of that position. He's able to get it and turn it into. Oh, yeah! Lucky kid, seen that counter oh. many a time. Saw it coming from a mile away, right in the middle of the ring. Oh. No. Was that a type? It wasn't. Referee's discretion. We're going up into a pinfall. Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa. God! Two and nine tens by the OJMO. Tom, I thought that was three. Jeez! Oh, and a big kick oh. to the head of the OJMO, and an enziguri too. If we had VAR, <laughs> OJMO might have walked away here with a pin. But, Christ! All right, ref. Good God Almighty, John Myers. He's earning his keep tonight with these close counts. 
I'm sure if you ask uh, OJMO's mum, he's won twice tonight. Well, up the top rope now. Frog Splash oh, nailed it! Wait a minute, wait oh my wait god! Wait Biggest win of the career for the oh. OJMO! No! And somewhere down south, the OJMO fan club is wetting themselves. Oh, for the first time in this match, he's going for that half crab! The master of the half crab is being right. slowed down, but and Lucky Kid oh, knows it. Oh. Lucky Kid knows if he gets the half crab in, he is in a lot of trouble. But then you call yourself the master of the half crab. It's got a look at kids because it's. Oh, he looks Oh, he's there it is! In. There it is! Oh, GMO! Oh my god! What the fuck? OJM, holy shit! One of the biggest wins in the short but incredible career of the OJMO! Right, any sensible person would have thought that OJMO was going to show up, do his best. Uh, lucky kid, you know, maybe not do necessarily his best, but give the little youngster a good seeing to teach him a few things. I don't think anybody was expecting OGMO to walk away with a win here tonight. With that, we say that with the absolute respect to the OGMO and oh, lucky kid is lucky kid knows knows tonight he was bested. Are they are they going again? Oh, look at this great show of class by lucky kid who tonight he's furious, but he knows tonight he was usurped. By the master of the half crab. Oh, Matthew, I think we have seen a watershed moment in the career of the OJMO tonight. I know it's a wrestling cliche right now, but we have just seen a paradigm shift for the OJMO.